I wish life worked that way. It just don't. Especially with women like you. Hey, boo. So in today's video, we are talking about the number one secret to looking younger. You want to know what it is? Come here. Come close. Let me tell you. Or do you want to guess? Well, if you guessed that is wearing makeup, then you are right. First off, if you think that you finna be 35 and over looking younger without makeup, I'm sorry, but you are sadly mistaken. I wish life worked that way, it just don't. We use makeup to give our face a more lifted appearance, to camouflage, makeup correct, it's smooth, it feels, it plumps, and in today's age, it actually heals and protects the skin. There are so many makeup myths that makeup will break you out, makeup will ruin your skin, you'll become dependent on it once you start wearing it, you got to keep wearing it. All of that is just not true. Especially with today's makeup because it's infused with skincare. Beautiful ingredients that aid in looking younger and skin barrier and skin healing and skin protection. So many foundations already have the SPF in them. Now the key to looking younger is wearing a little bit of makeup. Makeup helps you to look fresh, gives you like a youthfulness. As we age, we get the uneven skin tone and we get the thin brow and it's just more damaged to the face. So we change the appearance of that through makeup. A radiant foundation will help your skin not look so dull. A vibrant fun color blush will help you look rejuvenated. Mascara will give you those big full lashes like they used to be. So yes boo, a little makeup can take you a long way. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put on a little makeup, go from zero to 100. But if that's not your thing, feel free to hang around for tips, tricks, product recommendations, or just to see the transformation. So if you watch me, hey boo, what's up? You already know that I am going to start with skincare. I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of the Laneige Sleeping Mask on my lips so this can be hydrating my lips. Next, I'm going to go in with my City Beauty Eye Revive Firming Serum. This applicator tip is cooling too. Like, it's crazy. I'm just going to massage this underneath the eye for a couple of seconds and give it a chance to dry down. Now before I continue with my skincare, I'm gonna start on the brow. I like to do my brows on a freshly washed face so that I can have that tug and that traction so it's not so slippery. When you see ladies with the really thin brows, unfortunately, that ages you. One, because it dates you. Like, it's the 1920 brows that's super thin, boo. People don't wear their brows like that no more. And two, that typically happens to people that are older. Their lashes thin, their brows thin. So you can get that youthful look back by filling in your brows and giving yourself a nice full brow. And also, as you can see, I didn't go up too high and then pull it down. It hurts my heart so bad when I see thin brows that are highly arched and then come straight down like that because it makes the lady look like an evil Disney villain and it's such an easy fix like all you have to do make the brows a little fuller and Trace the natural shape of your brow don't exaggerate it too high and instead of pulling your brow down and having a long tail that stops right here pull the brow backward like outward toward almost the temple and make sure that it stops right before the outer corner of your eye. That's more natural, that's more flattering, and you don't look angry or scary. Cause girl, you too cute to be out here looking like uh, uh, Ursula and a, and a Disney character that's an evil villain, baby. Uh-uh, no you not. Now let's get on with the rest of the skincare. I'm gonna use just a facial essence and the Lancome UV Expert Defense because this is a makeup primer, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Can you believe? Mm -hmm. 
And lastly, I'm gonna go in with my City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. Now this is an eyeshadow primer and it's gonna help give this saggy skin here a more taut appearance. You see that I have hooded eyes and that this really folds over. We're gonna concentrate this right on the problem area and give ourselves a little lift. Now we're gonna move into the Makeup Skincare Hybrids. I'm gonna go in with my Chanel. This is gonna give my skin a beautiful looking finish. And honestly, like this is the product, whereas if you wanted to, you could put this on and that could be your complexion. But I like to use it under my makeup because it works as a color corrector because it's orange. So I'm just gonna dot it on. Look at how that just corrected everything. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of underpainting today, starting with the Hourglass Foundation Stick. And then I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Concealer and allow this to just be sitting while I put the rest of the underpainting steps on. This is my bronzing stick. This one is by LYS. And I'm keeping this kind of closer to the hairline since it's darker. Still allowing the under eye to just sit, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced in shade Butterscotch and do a little bit of a highlight. This looks so good, I almost forgot we don't have on no foundation yet, girl. Okay, so now we're going to finally pat out our under eye. Now I'm going to lay down my cream blush, starting high. We're going to take it into the eye area just a little bit. And with underpainting, I actually like this technique better for beginners. One, if you mess up, all of this stuff is going to kind of be like under your foundation. So it's going to be a little bit more muted. And two, with the underpainting, I don't want to say it looks less professional because that's not the word it just looks less prominent like the contour and the highlight and everything it's not super obvious it's more like toned down because you're going to put your foundation on top of all of this now we're going to take our radiant foundation this one is by nars in shade macau and i'm going to start just by putting it everywhere i didn't put any other complexion products And this foundation is just so sheer and lightweight. It's really pretty. Now I'm just gonna buff, lightly buff over everything else.
very light pressure. See how that just toned everything down? So if you have been hesitant on highlighting because you don't want your under eye looking too bright, try laying your concealer down first. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of Born This Way, this time in warm beige. Okay, let's prime our eyes for shadow just in case we go in with a little bit. We gotta work fast so that we can hurry up and set the rest of the makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Easy Bake and Snatch. This is in shade Blondie. And I'm gonna put this right on the inner corner. Take our puff. So now I'm going to lay down powder for every place that I placed cream. The blush, the contour, the bronzer, and I'm going to chisel my nose out a little bit with my foundation powder. And then we're going to start dusting off the bake. Okay, now I'm going to go into my Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette and I'm going to use the matte out of here for my brow bone highlight. The mattes in this palette are so pretty. And we're not gonna do a lot on the eyes. The main focus is complexion. Maybe when you get that color correction going and you smooth that skin and get that even skin tone, oh man, that does wonders in itself. You don't really need a bunch of other stuff when you have that. Girl, this is looking cute. Now tell me. You tell me. Okay, now let's go ahead and take some of this beautiful. We just gonna do like a couple of washes of color. Nothing fancy at all. Let's put some of this in the socket. I'm gonna switch palettes to MAC. And I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here and pack some on the mobile lid. And, and that's the eyes. Sweep a little bit underneath. Add a nice light color to the waterline. Let's dust off the bake. For today, I'm gonna go in with my Chanel Lay Line because this gives you the thinnest, I mean, the thinnest wing. Okay. That's what this liner is for. That's why they call it the precision liner because it gives you the thinnest wing. 
So if you struggle with like, oh, I like wing liner, but it always ends up thick somehow, try this. And this type of liner that's really thin like this, I really love to do this type when all I'm gonna put on is mascara. Like if you're gonna put on a lash, you could do like a thicker wing, but if you really wanna just make it look like your lashes poppy, this thin line is what you need. Okay, everything is dusted off. Let's put on a little bit more blush and set. It's giving baby doll. It's giving just born, fresh out the womb. Adding the slightest bit of highlight. Ooh, let's go with this beautiful one here. Line the lips. And I overline my top lip a little bit. And I exactly line my bottom lip so that they could be symmetrical. To see my bottom lip is fuller. Okay, so now let's pop the lashes by going in with my absolute favorite mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash. And let me just take a moment to talk about this real quick because I, for many years, even on this channel, have preached that luxury mascaras are just not necessary, right? That's where I personally would save money is on my mascara because with these struggle lashes, girl, mascaras never did anything, pretty much anything for me. They all are designed to do the same thing, which is lengthen, thicken, and blacken. And when you don't have like much lash hair, that is only gonna go so far. So I would never spend anything over $10, $15 on a mascara because none of them ever really did much for my lashes. But this, girl, they did their big one. I'm talking about, I want you to look and see the difference after I put this on because this actually makes my lashes look really, really full and makes it look like I have a lot of lashes with just one coat. I am gonna take my time and kind of comb through and like really work it in, but I'm not gonna let it dry and then go back in with a second and third coat and do that three, four times. I'm gonna use one coat and you're gonna see a major, I mean major difference. Watch this. that look like this how did it do it i don't even have lash hair like that on my eye do you see this like i said it take a little a little second to build it up go ahead and build it up now i'm not gonna let this dry and go in with another coat or anything but girl do you see this don't play Play. And I like to keep the bottom clean, so I'm gonna go in with just a little mascara. This is the Ido. The wand looks like this, and it makes the lashes look so curly. And it really does a really good job at lengthening. Like if you go on the site, you'll see the different mascaras and how they make the lashes look. So um, if you like like just a long lash instead of like a bold voluminous lash like this, then you would use this one. And that's why I like to use it on the bottom because that's what I want on the bottom, a long lash. All right, let's go in with a little bit of the Hourglass. I love the way they're doing this type of formula now. It's like a lipstick, but a lip gloss it's the best it makes your lips look so juicy and whenever i have this on 
I cannot stop looking at my lips and pictures. Like when I wear this type of formula, the YSL glaze and the hourglass made one, I just be mesmerized by how my lips look in pictures. It, it, they just look so good. Will you look at me? Like, do you see how a little makeup, we covered up some dark circles, some uneven skin tone, made the lips look plump and juicy, gave volume to our brows and our lashes, and brought that nice flush of color to the face. And girl, you can't tell me I ain't 32. <laughs> Hello, age rewind. Hey. So I'm impressed. Like, look at how all of these products perform. Like, I know that a lot of people be like, but Kiki, all of that stuff is so expensive. Girl, don't worry about trying to have everything that I got. Get what you need, build your collection up slowly, and don't worry about it. It's a good investment. You're gonna have it for a long, long time. And you need stuff that work, boo. Why buy a dollar product a hundred times? Just buy a hundred dollar product that you can use till like, literally the end of time like a lot of makeup i have girl is so old and it still works fine it still smells fine there's nothing wrong with it. i like never listen to expiration dates about makeup okay i throw it away when it starts smelling like an old crayon or it's clumpy or it doesn't apply right or it's dried out like that's when it's done and it'd be like 20 years later okay like the makeup gonna outlast us all. Makeup gonna still be here after doomsday, babe. An, an, an archaeologist gonna find this. I promise you. Like I'm telling you, the makeup is it 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 lasts. And I know somebody's gonna ask me about my scarf and earrings and stuff like that. All of this stuff can be found on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it below. This is different than the one I normally wear. This one is not as stretchy. It's a little sheerer, a little more lightweight, and a little smaller. So as you can see, like it's really not as big as my other one. And it's a little bit more comfortable because that other one has a lot of bungee to it. The one on Etsy, it has a lot of bungee to it, a lot of stretch. And um, because of that, it can start to kind of close in on you after a while and get really, really tight. So this one is more... This one is also jersey, but it doesn't have as much as elasticity as the other one. And it's also cheaper, so I'll be sure to link it below. And if you think my lashes are popping, because they are, hello, these are my lashes and they're popping, okay? If you think my lashes are popping, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to join my free VIP beauty community. It's all about beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion, and it's free and it's me kiki car in your inbox as your own personal beauty consultant guiding you giving you the tea letting you know what to use the benefits the ingredients why it's gonna work how it's gonna work how it's gonna have you out here looking beautiful boo we don't care really about looking younger okay we care about looking good can I get an amen? It's going to be me, Kiki Carr, in your inbox, guiding you for absolutely free, babe. And that's a deal that I don't think you could beat. So click like, click share, click subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sounds like a fair